I'll take a milk. Let me tell you about milk. It's so fucking good. You can use it for pretty much anything. Smoothies, oatmeal, coffee, fucking eggs. You can even drink it by itself. For its rich, creamy nutrients. Anyway, back in the early 90s, there were these got milk commercials that usually had celebrities promoting the product. Sometimes though, you had fictional characters and mascots, including the man himself. Fast forward to now and you got a bunch of memes involving Mario doing various stuff. Like working at McDonald's, waiting for the bus, Mario goes to Subway and gets one tuna sub with extra mayo. There's of course the most famous one, Mario goes to the fridge to get a glass of milk. Most people believe that the meme came from SMG Force video. It's a game based off of a meme that was based off of an animation. That was based off of an animation. Both of these Mario Milk games are made by Langton Lion64, who's a programmer and moderator for Mario Fan Games Galaxy. Originally made as a quick joke game, became an ongoing and loved series by many people over the web. Well then, let's begin with the first game titled Mario Drinks a Glass of Milk. Mario Drinks a Glass of Milk was originally created from a silly idea that Langton had when he woke up one morning while going to a lecture. It may or may not have come from those fake video game titles that I mentioned earlier. It was also released on March 31st, 2019, just in time for April Fools. The game begins with Mario, well, going to the fridge to get a glass of milk. The controls are pretty simple, you only really need to press one button over and over to stay on the cow icon. It can get pretty tricky at first, considering the cow apparently moves randomly. Like sometimes it can be hard as balls, sorry, I mean bollocks, to drink the milk. Other times though, you don't even have to do anything to win. You drink four different types of milk in the game. Pasteurized milk, full fat milk, skim milk, aka water with a little bit of sugar in it, and semi-skimmed milk. An interesting selection to say the least. There aren't any other types of milk in the game. So sorry for all my flavored milk and almond homies. I also feel like there was sort of a missed opportunity for each milk type. Like giving them each a different bottle cap color, just like in real life. Anyway, you complete all four levels and go on to fight Milkman. I wasn't sure what to do at first until I lost all my health, like in Mega Man X. Just before Milkman does anything else, Mario absorbs all the calcium from the four milk types and becomes a fucking skeleton man. No, not that one. After throwing a couple bone blades, we defeat Milkman and continue on to rescue Princess Dairy. Nope, it was all a dream. Luigi wakes up, tells Mario about his dream, and the game ends, for now. Fast forward to a year later, Mario Drinks a Glass of Milk was a comedic success, with multiple YouTubers and streamers playing the game, and winning Best Humor in Fan Game Galaxy's 2019 award show. Langton decided to take on the challenge of making a sequel, but this time actually make it play like a video game. While the first game only took a week to make, this one took about two months, using the same exact graphics and game coding. Langton had an idea of what the story would be, continuing off the concept from the last game of Luigi being lactose intolerant. So the game begins with a pretty lengthy introduction by Luigi. Luigi is worried about Mario being missing for a month at his new milk factory job. Milk sales are through the roof, and Mario was drinking milk non-stop before he left. So Luigi decides to break into the factory to see what's up and save Mario. Just like the first game, this one again seems very much inspired by Mega Man, right down to the sound effects, enemies, and even the game's mechanics this time. He talked to Professor Egad through a Dr. Light-esque hologram, which awards you with upgrades in each level. Starting with the Famicom drink system, a milk shooting device which actually uses the same coating from the splatter shot and Splatoon Torrential Climb, one of Langton's smaller fan games, which I covered in my NCFC 2020 video. Not only can you attack enemies now, but you can also suck them up and mix your milk with various ingredients, like bananas, strawberries, and CHOCOLATE! According to Lacton himself, chocolate does more damage but has less range, strawberry does less damage but has more range, and bananas do regular damage but bounce off along the floor. 
allowing you to get some pretty easy wins during bosses. Speaking of bosses, there's a new villain this time called Beam, Milkman's younger sister, so don't get any funny ideas. After that fight, you get a visit from the Dairy Godmother? What? Okay, so apparently Princess Dairy is actually Luigi's Dairy Godmother, who is in charge of making sure he drinks enough milk. Although because Luigi is lactose intolerant, she decides to become a fortune teller instead to help Luigi prepare for Milkman. I think now is a good time to mention the dialogue in this game. It's pretty funny, with this one part of the coffee level actually telling you that you were swimming through shit this entire time, and not coffee. I was like, ah oh, shit man, man it's shit. shit. <coughs> there were some nice fourth wall breaks, and also some Star Wars references, which I'm not complaining. So after killing Mario, you head into the final level and finally fight Milkman for real this time. Before you get the chance to finish him, Bean shows up and traps you inside her car. Well, I guess this is it, Luigi. Holy cow! Mario lives, but the milk siblings decide to get crazy and drown the entire kingdom in milk. The stakes are definitely raised. The final fight has a unique composition by Vita Man, made specifically for this game. I'll link his SoundCloud in the description if you want to hear more of it. And so Mario and Luigi team up and kill both Bean and Milkman. However, they're both still falling. Luckily though, Langton forgot to put fall damage in the game. The two brothers laugh it up and Mario says, Fuck the milk Luigi, I'm going back to pasta. Luigi further makes me question his metabolism and they both walk back home from a crumbling milk factory. If only we knew who was really behind all this. In conclusion, almond milk is the best milk. In all seriousness, I really enjoyed these two milk games. They were utterly legendary. Mm. Okay, okay, I'll stop. The comedy in these games didn't feel too forced or random like other Beam games, so I really respect Langton for that. You don't have to play the first game to understand the second, so you can just skip it, although it only takes like 5 minutes to beat, so you might as well try it out. I talked with Langton on Twitter about his current plans, and he says that he's currently busy with other things at the moment, but still really wants to make another game. He did sort of leave a sequel setup at the end, but right now he's not too sure where to take the story next. In the meantime, I recommend checking out his other fan game, Super Mario Bros. Dimensions, or the sequel's demo, which came out last year. Now if you excuse me, I have to go sleep. It's way past your my bedtime.